Okay, uh, this lesson is going to be on how to import uh, data files from Excel uh, into SPSS. Uh, Excel, for some of us, uh, we think it's an easier program to kind of enter and manipulate some of our data in. Uh, there'll be some other videos on how to use Excel later. Um, and so uh, we can use Excel as a place to uh, input our data uh, and then uh, move it into SPSS without just doing copying and pasting. So uh, let's have uh, an Excel file that we have open. Uh, this is uh, some Excel file for uh, study. We have participant ID, uh, you know, all the way down to participant 59. We have a variable labeled sex, age, uh, total time. We have some attention questions. Um, and we can basically go through this and see that there's, there's, a, there's a host of uh, data here. Um, let's, uh, we, 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 this obviously has been saved somewhere. Um, we can save that data again and then shut it down. When we go into SPSS, we're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to go to Open Data. When we open data, we're going to go through different areas to basically find where the data is saved. In this case, uh, we are going into my experiment folder, um, and we're opening up the data source that's in there. Now, to get to, you know, you'll see here there is a, an SPSS file, an SAV file, which is uh, for SPSS or uh, PASW. What we actually want is we want to go down to All Files. So now we can see the Excel files. You have to go to All Files in order to be able to find the Excel files. We're going to click on this file, File uh, a Full Data Study, uh, which is the SPSS version. That simply labeled that so I remembered which data I'm pulling over. It could be, we could open up any one of these. Uh, we're going to click Open. And then, once we should get a dialog box in a minute that's going to say uh, to make sure that we want to read variable names from the first row of data. What that is saying to do is it's asking us, do we want to use the top row in Excel as our variable names? Uh, in most cases, we'll want to do this, so we'll leave that checked off, and we will simply hit OK. Now, when this happens, we now get a data file, 59 participants, participant, sex, age, total time, attention questions, and essentially we've now imported our data from Excel directly into SPSS. And this is how you can import Excel data files directly into uh, the uh, SPSS or PASW.